Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. You know, I've been getting, uh, you know, hundreds and maybe even thousands of requests to do a video in regards to Canelo Alvarez. Drug testing. Is it clean? Is he dirty? You know, what type of fighter Canelo Alvarez is? Is his performances based on, you know, him possibly using, you know, different banned substances? And I just want to break it down and be honest and unbiased about it. And at the end of the day, I believe Canelo Alvarez is truly a clean fighter. And this is why I believe that, you know, it's not me having an opinion or anything on Canelo is me basically just using the facts of the case. And if you look at the situation honestly and objectively, you see that Canelo Alvarez is, you know, a very, you know, a fighter that's never had any drug issues outside of failing the test um, for the clenbuterol. You know, outside of that, he's never had any issues. Um, you see that a lot of other Mexican superstars and fighters have failed tests because of the tainted meat in Mexico. You've seen the NFL and, you know, these are all facts publicly recorded, have already put up issued statements about their athletes going to Mexico, eating the meat and warning that it could fail drug tests because of it. The NFL has issued those warnings. That is according to ESPN. You know, Olympics teams have issued those warnings and that's according to ESPN. So if you see that other you know, fighters in Mexico have failed tests. If you notice the, and you know, the NFL have stated those same things and the Olympics, you see that it's not far fetched to see that Canelo Alvarez would have a similar issue. Now, outside of that, Canelo Alvarez is one of the only fighters and one of the rare fighters to have VADA testing uh, done for 24 7, 365, and you can go and check on VADATesting.org. You know, Canelo Alvarez, um, you know, Nonito Donaire are some of the rare fighters who constantly, you know, do the 24-7, 365 testing. And Canelo Alvarez has been 100% clean. So why would you sign up for that when you're the face of boxing and you don't have to do those testing? You don't have to prove this. Canelo Alvarez chooses to do this. Nonito Donaire chooses to do this. And he's consistently clean. So his, you know, his fight against Rocky Fielding, he was doing VADA testing 24-7, 365. Dominant performance, no substance use. Uh, you know, fantastic performance against a much bigger Danny Jacobs. Uh, VADA testing. 24-7, 365, no substance use. So you can hate on Canelo Alvarez and say that his performances is based on any type of banned substance when he's clearly showing you he's using the best testing available, uh, you know, signing up for it. And he doesn't have to. And his performances continue to get better and better and better. He's improving as a fighter. And you can tell that he's willing to show the world that he's not using a substance to show that he's the absolute best. Once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.